Hey you guys, welcome to the Rod Squad house. We are a family of nine and I'm gonna show you all this massively wonderful Costco haul. This is one of our largest Costco hauls in a while and I cannot wait, let's get on into it. I almost always get carrots, uh, two things of organic romaine hearts. These actually keep really well in the fridge, um, so they're usually good for at least two weeks, but I really like to use them for salads, on sandwiches, all sorts of things. I got two things of spinach. Um, I like to find the one with the furthest away ex uh, expiration date, and then I also like to freeze them in little baggies. If you freeze them, uh, it's really good frozen in smoothies, in soups, scrambled eggs, um, throw it in some pasta, it's really good like that. And then I like to keep the other fresh, um, obviously I like it on salads too, but it won't last super, super long in the fridge. I got three bags of organic gala apples, and I believe they're three pound bags each. And then I got four bundles of bananas for now. Um, I really don't care if it's organic or not. Bananas are on the clean 15 list. Um, however, uh, I wanted some ripe ones and only the ripe ones were organic and the unripe were only in their original or like conventional. Um, so I like to get some ripe to eat right away and some to save for later. I also got this massive watermelon. We have been like going through the watermelons like crazy. Um, we very easily eat half a watermelon at a time. I usually cut half, we devour it, save the rest for the next day. I got two things of the bread. I really like this Dave's Killer Bread. I like the thin slice because you get slightly more um, slices, um, which is nice when you have a large family. So uh, we actually got home and ate sandwiches, so half of one is gone. All right, I also got some of this Harmless Harvest coconut water. I absolutely love this coconut water here. And then I got some organic dried mangoes. And this is like the third time I bought it. It is truly addictive. Um, one of you guys had mentioned how addictive it was. And look, this guy's trying to get into it already. They're so stinking delicious. Um, and really good, uh, it's a really good price per ounce compared to um, like Trader Joe's or probably other grocery stores. But it's a really, really good price per ounce. Back here, I got um, a package of flour, just the organic, unbleached, all-purpose flour. Um, I do a lot of sourdough, a lot of baking from scratch and things like that. I got a thing of sour cream. I really love these pickles. Uh, they don't have any additives um, like food dye or polysorbate 80 or anything like that. They are not probiotic because they are in vinegar, but they are fresh and they are very delicious. Uh, I got another mayonnaise. I make mayonnaise all the time, but this was on just such a good deal. It's actually like cheaper to buy it this way than for me to make it from home with avocado oil. So this was an amazing deal. Couldn't pass it up. And I was just running out of butter, so I got some more Kerry Gold butter. Two things of Colby Jack cheese. And then these were on an amazing sale as well. Um, I looked to see the expiration date, which was like August something, August 6th. Um, and so I got four knowing that we will eat all of them for sure before August. So um, you can just get how many ever you think you will eat before the expiration date. Isa, can you go ahead and take the sour cream to the fridge? We're going to put the dairy away uh, as we keep going. So I always pick up some raw Texas honey. Now, I will say I just recently made some homemade cough syrup with this with some essential oils. I will have to uh, put the recipe here on the screen because it worked phenomenally. I would definitely recommend if you're going to try it, definitely find a raw unfiltered honey, preferably local to your area. I also pretty much always get two to three maple syrups. Um, so there those are. And then I got some turkey. I bought these a while back when they were on sale and they were running low in the freezer. So I went ahead and got one. All right, coming down here, I really like this millet and brown rice ramen noodle, so I just got an extra one of those. Um, in one of the Cook With Me's, the quick and easy dinners, these cook very fast, and I like to make like um, a skillet stir fry with noodles instead of the rice. Very, very good. Uh, I finally picked up some of these whisks. I haven't had these in forever. They were on sale, and I'm gonna use them like croutons with some salads. I've really been craving salads because it is very hot here in Houston where I live in the middle of summer, and so I'm gonna use them as croutons to get some crunch in my salad. I've also got some of these organic crispy coconut rolls. These were on sale. Um, they're gluten-free. Uh, the ingredients are fairly decent, and my kids really, really like them. They're super, super delicious. Only four grams of added sugar. Uh, these were also on sale, so I picked up some of these um, green snap peas. 
And then over here, my favorite, I don't, did not even know they were gonna have this. I was literally like jumping for joy when I saw that it had this peach preserve. It's super, super delicious. Meanwhile, <laughs> we've got babies and wheelbarrows. Daddy just bought a new wheelbarrow. That's actually how we got all the groceries in today. <laughs> but back to the grocery haul, guys, sorry. I like to pick up this massive thing of tomato sauce. I make typically make my own like spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce. You also use um, tomato sauce like in chili and all sorts of recipes. I like to just have plain tomato sauce and it is so much cheaper for me to buy it in this huge, huge container. Um, I was also though needing some diced tomatoes, which I got down here. This was a new brand I've never seen before, but I really like it is just tomatoes and sea salt. So these are pretty amazing. This is, was a, a really great find. Down here, I always pick up a three pack of the organic silk almond milk because we've got a little guy who is dairy free. Uh, two big things of the five dozen cage free eggs. And then back here, uh, if, you saw, if you saw my Costco shop with me, you'll see that these had the asterisk. And so I went ahead and got two. I already have two in the pantry, uh, but one is opened and I easily can go through a box of this a month. So I don't know when they're gonna bring it back. So I went ahead and got two more boxes to kind of back stock. Some boring stuff, but pull-ups were on sale and also um, oil. I don't know, my husband does our own oil changes. So uh, for the different cars, I don't know, we needed different oils apparently. I also got some little disposable cups for church and gatherings that we have. Um, and some paper towels and somewhere around here is some toilet paper but moving into some more fun things um, is the Brazil nuts these are incredibly high in selenium very very nutritious uh, you only have to eat like two to three of them a day to get some amazing health benefits from those I picked up this is one of our favorite trail mixes that Costco has um, and it comes and goes periodically but it was back right now seriously that's what the loudness is is more wheelbarrow happenings um, but yeah, it's really good. It has cane sugar in the um, cranberries and a little bit in the chocolate, but it actually has a really clean ingredient. Uh, sometimes trail mix is filled with all sorts of funky stuff. So I really like this uh, brand here and I love that it is organic as well. Uh, we're always getting our tortilla chips because we just eat them like crazy. Uh, and then I was excited to find this Honest Company shampoo and body wash. A while back at my Costco haul, I showed y'all some pillows that I had gotten at Organic and I was talking about, you know, beyond food, uh, things to think about. And so I think the shampoo and the body wash kind of fall into that same category. Your skin is your largest organ, so what you're putting on your skin is absorbing into your body. So to me, it's really important, not only the food we put in our mouths, but also the products that we're putting on our bodies, in our hair, our toothpaste, and all of those things as well so yeah I love that this is made without parabens without uh, SLS is sodium laurel sulfate it doesn't have any dyes it doesn't have synthetic fragrances um, it's really really good even for those who have uh, sensitive skin and things like that so I used to buy this from the company like back when it was first introduced and it was like you could only order online so I'm really happy to see it in stores and even at a big like store like Costco is pretty awesome and then one of my spontaneous splurge moments I was so excited about were these hammocks and they were on sale. We've been looking at um, Amazon for some and so I text Guillermo in the store and I was like, how much are the ones you've been looking at? And these were cheaper so we got two because we have these two beautiful oak trees in our front yard and we wanted to put some hammocks up. So I'm super excited about those. If you're going camping or if you just want like a very easy portable uh, hammock, I think that these are a really great deal compared to what I've seen even online so definitely pick them up the only bad thing was like this was literally the only color it was like blue um, I, it's getting to I would have liked like a variety of colors but you know it is what it is um, and I'm still really excited to use them all right you guys I think that is it and so this grocery haul put us back I don't want to say it I don't want to say it four hundred and seventy three dollars that is how much this grocery haul was now it makes me feel a little better though because we've got the oil in there uh, for the oil change and then all those big boring stuff that I hate buying like paper towels and toilet paper and pull-ups huh. all of that really eats up the budget really fast but thankfully I don't typically have to buy those things every single month so overall I'm very pleased with this grocery haul I hope you enjoyed like this video share it with a friend who loves Costco as much as you and me and until next time, have a very blessed, blessed day.